What's up YouTube, it's your boy C's back at y'all again. And this time I want to talk about something very important. What is martial arts? I mean, I know a lot of people, they see martial arts as something combat. You know, survival of the fittest. I hear, you know, pretty much in this whole crazy world we live in, like, you know, they just want to see basically people going out here fighting and hurting one another, you know, uh, in the ring or what have you. But for my opinion, I don't feel martial arts is those type of things. Um, I feel martial arts is something spiritual. Martial arts is something that's going to make you a better person in life. Martial arts is not something that you go out here just because you know a skill or a technique you go and hurt somebody. That's not basically what I feel the essence of martial arts is. And just like me, for example, even though I'm a Capoeira practitioner, doesn't necessarily mean that I use my martial arts to go out and try to hurt somebody. Um, I never got into Capoeira just to do that. I only got into Capoeira in order to make me a better person. Uh, a person that can become a teacher and also a student. And like I said, that whole notion of going out here hurting people <laughs> what reason is there to do that? That is not martial arts. What you want to learn from martial arts is how is you going to become a better version of yourself? Because it's a difference between defending oneself and basically being a brute animal. I mean, if you're defending yourself and defending your family, your loved ones, or what have you, I understand that. But going out here, just because you put somebody in an arm bar and break their arm or break whatever part of their body does not make you superior to a martial art. And I'm pretty sure, you know, some people, you know they looking at this video, they'll probably think otherwise, you know. But each to their own. But me, as someone who practices capoeira, I feel that that's something that martial arts isn't. When you do martial arts, you gotta find inner peace within yourself. Remember I always tell you guys that it's what's inside that counts, not what's on the outside. It's also true to martial arts. You gotta find inner peace within oneself. Not becoming some animal, <laughs> in a sense. To say, hey, I'm that guy. I mean, even the whole concept is ridiculous. So basically, you train your whole life to be a bully. That's basically what a lot of people be saying. If you're a true martial artist, you don't have to show that type of strength. If you're a true martial artist, you would try to find ways to avoid fighting. If you're a true martial artist, you will understand what losing is because when you lose, you actually win. And when you win, you really lose. I mean, I'm pretty sure some people probably can't get that around their mind. Like, how in the world me losing is me winning? Well, if you're in a martial art world, you'll understand that. Okay guys, I'm back. So, um, you guys want to know what the essence of Capoeira is. What is essence? Essence 
is a feel of something, understanding something, understanding the rhythm. Once you feel that inner spirit within yourself, you understand what that feeling is when it comes down to Capoeira. Most people, when they see it, they don't quite understand it. They look at some old dancing or acrobatics, um, pretty much like a circus show. If I may, you know, we'll say that. But no, Capoeira is actually a fight, a game, and music, and much more. Um, it's this one YouTuber, um, I think his name is Ramsey, and he actually was talking about if you're a Capoeira practitioner, it's a lot of wrestling elements within that style. And the thing is, even though Capoeira, he discovered as has wrestling in it, actually, from my experience with the art, you can actually add any kind of fight style into that art. You can add boxing in with Capoeira. You can add some of the uh, Taekwondo kits into Capoeira. Karate. So on and so forth. And this whole notion of does Capoeira really work in a fight? Well, real question is, do you work in order to make the style itself work? Because if you're not putting in the work, shout out to my man Light Burley, you will not understand the style of Capoeira, Karate, Taekwondo, whatever. You got to put in the work to make them work. And if you're not putting in the work to make them work, well, hey, that's what it is. It's not about your style, it's about the practitioner. I understand that, people. It's not the style, it's the practitioner. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do on a daily basis in order to make these martial arts work, including Capoeira, they are not going to work. But if you put forth the dedication, patience, exercise, the blood, the tears, if you put everything you can into what you do, you're learning yourself. And once you learn yourself, that's how those things will work. And just like my man, like Birdie said, most people that pick up these martial arts, they look at it like some, I don't know, some ad or whatever, like, if I do like this five day program or whatever, I can learn how to throw this kick or punch or whatever. No, mm -mm. In order to learn martial arts, it takes, it's a lifestyle. It's not something that you just wake up and do. And just like with Capoeira, it's like the essence that you have to have within the martial art in order to understand the martial art. Because I hear a lot of YouTubers out there, and a lot of people be like, man, Capoeira, I don't know, you know, I don't really feel like that style work. Just because somebody didn't go out there and really a whole bunch of Capoeira practitioners, which I get that, what they're trying to say. Since we don't really see as much Capoeira, therefore, eh, you probably ain't gonna really give it the respect where it deserves so okay um the next part of my video um i'm gonna have my beautiful woman and she's gonna ask me some questions about what got me into copper all right 
Well, I'm back, YouTube. Um, this is my lovely wife, Miss Brandy. And um, she uh, was going to pretty much ask me some questions about, hey, you know, what made me get into Copperwood in the first place? I mean, um, you have any questions, anything you want to ask me? What made you get into martial arts? Well, what made me get into martial arts, just like, I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of people got a lot of different answers what made them get into the martial art game. Well, of course, you know, I got to put out the legend, Bruce Lee. I mean, when I seen Bruce Lee, man, <laughs> you know, wow, you know, I mean, I was like, I, I love it, you know, when he was first introduced to Wing Chun, and then after that, um, you know, he pretty much was a philosopher. Um, Bruce Lee pretty much looked at certain weaknesses and also strengths in martial arts and his style of martial arts, and he pretty much just said, hey, I'm going to Made my own style of martial arts, which was later on Jekundo. So I had to, yeah, Bruce Lee definitely is one of the ones I really, really have to say what really got me into martial arts. Um, shout out to my man uh, Latif Crowder. He also um, played the character Eddie Gordo in the Tekken film that came out, I think, around 2010. Yeah, definitely, he really uh, inspired me. Um, Mark Dacosca, shout out to him. Um, Mr. Aman, which was in that movie in 1993, Owning the Strong, check that movie out. Um, there's a lot of copper wrestlers inspired me. You know, um, even when it came down to the video game, Eddie Gordo, you know. I mean, I was like, wow, man, this style is awesome, you know, like, man, Capoeira, you know. I mean, even though I was exposed to other martial arts styles, it was something about Capoeira pretty much made me really get into the art. Like, um, well, Mortal Kombat has martial arts in it, too. Yeah, yeah. All the uh, fighting games, you know, Mortal Kombat, Soul Calibur, Tekken, Street Fighter, yeah. So, when I seen those guys, man, like, yeah, you know, um, it's, I mean, there's so many of them. I mean, <laughs> that inspired me, you know. I, I can't even list them all here. Uh, do you have any other questions um, about Capoeira or, you know? Are you in a martial arts? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Um, mostly, I guess Capoeira, you know. Well, I know mostly everything about Capoeira because of you, so. Because um, on the most thing, I think you said you already asked a um, question. You said it you said inspires you. That's the one. But I can't think of no other kind of question. But... Um, how about, let me see. You want to test me to see how much I know about Capoeira? Mm, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, let me see. see but, um, pay well, attention. One, one thing is, um, I know a lot of people ask this question, especially on YouTube. They be like, Okay, can Capoeira really win? You know, can you really use Capoeira in a fight? And most of what I said to most of the YouTube viewers out there, anything could you could use in a fight. I mean, that's just like Bruce Lee, you know? He pretty much said, like, the things that, you know, that you want to keep, keep those things. But the things that you don't want to keep, you know, just throw them to the side, you know? Find out what works for you. Because um, even if I teach someone in copper weather, it don't necessarily mean that what I'm teaching them will really work for them. It's like, it's gonna come down to, you gotta put in the work. You, you, you 
you can't get these martial arts like add-ons. You know, the practicality of martial arts that was back 500 years ago could be very different for the practicality of martial arts as of today. So you just pretty much gotta understand the essence of whatever it is that you do. And like I said, the essence is a feeling that you get. It's that deep quiet. Once you get that deep quiet, you get in your zone and there you go. Answers are locked. And just because you know they got these rank systems and what have you, that's good and gravy that you get your black belt, second, third degree black belts, what have you, course, whatever. Don't stop there, keep going. Martial arts is a way of life. Martial arts is something that you just don't just stop it and say, all right, well, I'm, I'm done with this, so you know, I don't have to do it no more. No, that's not martial arts. That's like anything in life. You gotta stick with it. Um, is there anything else you wanna ask? No, that's a good thing that you do stick with it because there is a lot of people out there do call quits on a lot of things. Oh, yeah. But I see you don't do that. No. And most of the time, I know uh, most of the people I ran across, the reason why I guess they really don't put as much of investment in Copperwell is because they kind of feel it's hard. <laughs> it's a little too much. Um, too much energy. They feel wasted which I kind of, me personally, feel like no energy is wasted. Um, they forget the understanding of the style. Um, Cup Warriors battle strategy is not going around hitting 500 or 200 or whatever, some flips all over the place, you know? <laughs> like every style has an essence about them. And you got to understand the essence of that particular style. Um, do you understand what I'm saying about essence? Like, what essence is? No. Okay, let me explain. I know I explained to you viewers earlier. Essence is basically something that you feel. It's a deep quiet within you that you know is that true answer. It's all right. Let's take for example, when you cook it, it's a certain way you cook. <laughs> uh, fish, chicken, um, making greens. Okay, uh, you want to my heart into it? Yeah. One, it's like you got a feeling. Sometimes certain lessons is like you don't have to teach somebody. It's just like something that you feel within yourself that make it great. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So once you get that feeling of it, it's like, man, the sky's the limit. You know, it's, that's what it is, you know? Like me, I mean, I didn't have nobody just come up to me and say, hey, uh, I'm gonna teach you Capoeira, you know? Since I already had a martial art background, I kind of picked up on Capoeira pretty easy because it was something, the key word, I love doing it. You gotta love what you're doing. And when it's coming from here, that's when it becomes something special. The more you love something, like you, you know, love to cook, um, love to do hair, love of music, um, love of art. You know, it's, you got to have a love, a passion for whatever it is that you do. That's the essence. And when you have that love for something, the sky's the limit. You know, like they say, uh, somebody once taught me, you got to be so quick. I guess how some people would kind of view you from uh, outside looking at you or whatever. They'll be like, you know, you kind of, somewhat weird, crazy, you know, it's like, you love it so much. Some people even talk to themselves, you know, because they love doing what they do, you know? And 
only you understand that. You know what I'm saying? It don't really matter who's around you. Looking at you, you understand why you love what you do. You know? So, it's just one of them things, man. You just, you got to really love what you do. That's the true essence of martial arts, I feel. You know, like I said earlier, it's not being a bully. You don't learn this stuff just to go and pick on people. Because when you do things like that, karma always going to get you at the end of the day. Because there's certain people that's going to check people that's doing or abusing their powers to crush you. So. Jamal, I go, well, why are you putting your hands like on levels? Yes. Because you got people out there that's really good. And they see this person doing this. I mean, it's kind of like that movie Karate Kid. Karate Kid, he pretty much was okay in the game. He just got into karate or whatever. But when he met Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi was very experienced, even though he was an old man in karate and martial arts. Just like uh, Johnny, the <laughs> you know bully, was picking on Daniel. Okay, what inspired you to um to to name you, you YouTube channel um Motherland? Okay, um what inspired me to make this channel Motherland's Realist is because if you guys know the motherland is Africa. I mean, whether people want to believe it or not, we all come from the motherland. And realist I'm going to try to keep this video as 100 as possible. Africa's Realist. That's why I named my channel Motherland's Realist. So anything I do on my videos, I try to keep it authentic as I can. Or as authentic as possible. So basically that's why my channel is called Motherland's Realist. Africa's Realist. We all are from the motherland. And that's it. Peace, love, happiness. I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, peace.